Guys, today I'm going to be coaching and I guarantee you will learn something. I'm here to help you improve today. Do me a favor, let's try and hit 300 likes on the video. If we could do that, that would be amazing. If you want to see more of these, do subscribe. We're nearly at 100,000. The idea behind this is we have two of my viewers. They're playing against each other here. I'm going to be analyzing the gameplay from a coach perspective. You're going to see things in here that maybe you do in your game, mistakes that are made, things we can improve on. We're going to cover it all. Let me know if you have any questions, you know, even if it's not related to this gameplay. Far away. I'm here to help and hope you enjoy. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so we are getting into the gameplay. As you can see, definitely not the worst team in the world, is it? Must be nice, man. I mean, <laughs> does it get much better than that? Let me know in the comments. If this was your team, what would you improve? Who would you replace? I'd be very interested to know. Maybe there's nobody. Uh, maybe I'd throw a cheeky hullet in there. I'm not too sure, but let's get into the gameplay. Okay, so like I said, this is two of my viewers. They are part of my Patreon community. If you'd like me to analyze your own gameplay, the link is in the description. However, let's focus on them. So I will take the perspective of the attacking player. That is the one with the red arrow above us, but I will try to give tips where possible uh, to his opposition as well. So we see a turnover, middle of the pitch here. He recycles the ball, which is always a good option to do. One thing that you do find is, you know, when you recycle back to your defender, the other fullback will come on a run. So you can use the mini-map as well. You see all this space we've got here. Um, it's a very useful thing you can do. You know, you pass back with your winger uh, to the guy here, and then straight away you look for the fullback switch. So maybe he does that, maybe he doesn't doesn't on this occasion um it's actually being covered by my webcam sadly uh, but our guy did just offside trap uh, this is a very good position to do it because as you can see um it's limited uh, the options that his opponent actually has he does somehow fizz the pass through what you want to be doing in these areas here you know as the defensive player and this is a general rule that you guys can apply to your game so you'll see this situation a lot you know, where the opposition has the ball out wide, like he does here, you're controlling your fullback. What I like to do here is I will actually switch to this defender here using the right stick, and then I'll apply the second man press with the fullback. So you'll have the fullback here applying pressure to this player on the ball, and then with the centre back that you're controlling, you can actually mark these inside passes, you know, to this guy, this guy, uh, or maybe even push up a little bit and apply pressure uh, to this player here. So it just gives you the option, you know, of doing two things at once, which is something I can't stress enough. It is very important when defending specifically, you know, doing two things at once. It's the same as, you know, what a player lock allows you to do in the attack. You're progressing forward with the ball whilst doing something else with your AI. Uh, FIFA or FC, you know, it's normally you're only controlling one player, but these little things that allow you to do two are massively beneficial. Okay, so we're going to be leading into the build-up of the first goal of the game here. You can see um, that our other player has won the ball back. Um, he's turned the ball over in a position you cannot be turning the ball over in. Um, I get a lot of people, you know, when I'm coaching them, they think they're bad defenders. It's not always that you've defended bad. It's the area you've lost the ball in. So you see here, you know, we've got so much time to work with. If we go back one more time again, we win the ball back here. The obvious option for me here is a switch over, you know, to this guy here where my mouse is. Um, maybe even just face up and run a little bit, you know, give a little bit of time for the fullback to make a run. But we cannot afford to be turning the ball over here. Um, it's put us in a really dangerous position. Our team is not quite set for it. Do recycle the ball back, but it's still, you know, we've turned it over in a position we never really should. Uh, really good quick passing on the edge of the box here. Really nice stuff. Get the ball into R9. And then from there, especially with a player like R9, you know, you expect him to find the back of the net. But the des the defensive perspective here is just the area, you know, that he's lost the ball. After that, what I would say is just before this pass is played, right here, this is, uh, this is potential offside trap territory. Uh, you imagine his back line right here. See how it's 
right here. And then you've got the attacking line right here. You do that offside trap and you're going to have the defensive line up here. And it eliminates all those attacking options. So that is where the offside trap can be very, very effective. And it just cuts out that whole attack. But uh, I would put the main blame here down to the position we lost the ball and just the turnover putting us under pressure. Okay, so we are leading up to the second goal of the game. You can see the white kit player uh, does have a throw in here. We're in a good attacking position. He went a little bit direct there. Uh, one thing I will say is when you're attacking, you know, say you're in these areas sort of out on the wing or just on the edge of the box, always look for this guy here. You always tend to have this guy. If we go back even maybe just a little frame here, See how you have him there, almost making a run, you know, into that space. That is the ball you want to find there. Uh, because from there, you know, you pass the ball into here. And then you'll find that you have like a driven pass into Mbappe there. Um, so just by going back to that guy, it opens up a whole different pass that we can't get otherwise. If you do what he did here and pass the ball into a congested area... More often than not, it's just going to do your uh, opponent a favour. It's making it a lot easier for them to defend with. And that is something we've got to try and avoid. Always pass into the space where possible. What you're going to see is from here, it's another turnover. And then we're getting hit on a counter-attack. Uh, good recovery. But another turnover in the middle. And so far... It is these turnovers that are changing the game. It's been a relatively even game. Great spot on the cutback as well. That extra pass is always what you want to be looking for. But the defensive perspective there, it's these turnovers in the middle of the pitch and are in and around our own box that are changing the game. It's been pretty even, and I'm sure you guys suffer from this a lot. Uh, turning the ball over in areas we shouldn't, and that is changing the game. It's not just limiting the fact that you could have been on an attack it is also conceding new goals. So it really does, you know, one pass, as cliche as it may sound, can change a whole game of FIFA slash FC. So it's something you've got to really look out for. Okay, so we're getting towards the third goal of the game here. And you can see we have the ball out in a wide position. What you need to be looking at, especially at this point in the game, always keep an eye on the clock. We all know how broken the 45th minute can be. It's the same as kickoffs, 90th, for whatever reason, there is just an increased chance of scoring. So I would go as far as saying, you know, if you're in the 44th, you want to be playing to make sure you've got that last attack. The option we've got here, you know, you look at the mini map, we've got our fullback right in space over here. He's currently under my webcam, but if you look at the mini map here, he's right there. I can see him. He's just in there. So that is what we wanted to be looking for here. We choose to not take the option. A really cheap turnover in the middle there. And then from there, we've left ourselves in a really dangerous position. Just these tiny things, man. Like if he looks at the minimap there and plays that pass across, he gets the last attack of the half. Instead, it's a turnover in possession. And we've left ourselves in a really difficult situation here in which R9 is going to capitalize. He got unlucky with the goalkeeper movement as well. But there we go. From what could have potentially been 3-0 or at least a 2-0 lead going into halftime, it has been cut into one, all because we didn't play one fullback switch. So it shows you how the tiniest little things really can change a game. Um, see what changes are potentially made here. What a team, by the way. Both of these guys, the accounts are looking nice. He is subbing on Messi um, and also Haaland as well. Taking off Cruyff for Mbappe. Must be nice, man. Let's see what the second half brings. Okay, so from the point of our player, I know a lot of you guys will go through this. You've just conceded a goal before half time. You know, you're probably not in the best mindset. You know, you're going to be frustrated that you've just conceded a 45th minute goal. And it happens, man. But I get asked a lot, you know, when I'm streaming and playing, how I keep so calm, all this sort of thing. Um, It really is you, the way I try to look at it is especially if you're somebody that's trying to you know get your best foot champions results and these sort of things it's about focusing so that you're able to play your best you know if you're raging at the game and this sort of stuff you can't possibly play your best so you've got to make sure that you're in the right mindset um and we've started off this half you know not bad a turnover um but you know still still in control of the game got to defend a set piece here 
One thing I like to do, if they take the short free kick, I will always activate an offside trap here. See, if we go back a little bit, the moment I see that he's running like this and he's going to take a short one, offside trap, and it's just going to eliminate all this danger from the attacker, and you're able to just run at the ball carrier with your defender because everybody else will be offside anyway. So that's just a quick defensive tip there. Um unlucky it was a good little pass in and now we have a potential counter-attack opportunity the mistake i see here i see a lot so we win the ball back and obviously the counter is on here i'm not saying it's not you have to be really careful when sprinting you see this extra little heavier touch from messi um that is just what's lost us the ball there we have actually got really lucky and somehow kept it i guess that's messy doing messy things but you want to be slowing down you know you win the ball back here it's fine to sprint a bit here is where you want to stop he switched on to his defender and you need control over the ball this is where you'd slow down and if there's no option you know to keep running and going forward you would then switch it across to your other fullback uh, but it's really risky you know keeping sprint and potentially losing the ball really really well done though he's found a beautiful pass there uh gets it with mbappe that is unlucky one thing i would suggest as soon as you get into this area there's two things on your mind right you're either going to go for goal if you're going to shoot from here this angle you really need to be green timing the shot so make sure that your timed finishing is on um when you're at a bit of a wide angle like this it's probably not going to go in you know unless you green it when the defender is fully committing to you and you're running side by side, this is where I'd throw in a ball roll scoop. So you'd ball roll down towards where my mouse is and then scoop up and the defender's going to keep running this way and you're just going to have a more clear chance on goal. Perhaps even opens up a chance for a pass to Haaland and it just gives you in general more options. But like I say, shooting from here, if you green it, it's going in for sure. But without that, on a wide angle, you need to find a way of narrowing the angle more. And here, that would have been a ball roll scoop. Okay, so we are leading up to another goal here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. I know people don't like it, but this is good, good play, man. Um, he's, he's either used the minimap or he's actually spotted out that run, which is some crazy vision. You will have this time and time again, especially when you're playing like a 4-3-2-1 and formations like this. This is the best way to progress up the pitch. Forget all this passing it around the middle and building up, you know, like normal football, tiki-taka. Forget it, man. Just look at that fullback. Cuts out the whole of the midfield and sets you in into a much better position than you would have been. A beautiful pass. One extra pass as well. That is a textbook FC24 goal. Fullback switch, uh, but get the ball out into a wide position and then cut the ball back into the middle. Uh, it's just beautiful. Perfect play. You know, he's recycled it here. Bang. One pass over to the winger. Look to cut the ball back into the middle. One extra pass. Perfect. That is a beautiful. Really, really good goal. Okay, so... Uh, the white kit opponent is on the attack here. One mistake I've just seen there already. Watch Teo Hernandez. Watch how he lunges in here. That is what happens when you are spamming the tackle button. Never spam the tackle button in this area. Just hold jockey. Try and predict the path of the ball off of your opponent's first touch. And step in. Do not spam the tackle button. You see how he's caught in this lunge animation? He is never recovering. You know, he's done for good. He's out the game now, and that causes a lot of danger. Uh, Frimpong actually gets the ball out wide. We get a bit unlucky there, to be honest. Um, win the ball back. Another turnover. You see these turnovers, man? They really do. They really do cause some damage. You know, great extra pass. And then R9 able to finish on the first touch. But again, it's another goal where... The area we've lost the ball is what's caused the damage here. What we should have done, if we go back a little bit, we win the ball here. We actually get another chance. We just need to be going all the way back. You know, as soon as we step in and win the ball with Haaland here, just recycle it all the way back. Like go to Teo here and then switch it across. Or from here, you can even boot the ball with Haaland to this guy here. Just sort of get rid of it without actually just booting it up the pitch. You know, find someone who's free. Just take a second. Simple A pass here to the fullback. And then another fullback switch. But when you try and be intricate, you know, play these short passes. 
you know, this stuff can happen. So that is what's caused the goal. Uh, but it's good composure and play from the opponent to find the back of the net. Okay, so this is going to be another attack here. And that same issue where we're spamming tackle has happened there. Got to be careful with the second man press with the fullback. You don't want to be pulling them too far out of position. That is another issue with the tackle. You see how he's lunged in and given a penalty away. Here, you know, as soon as we switch in the middle, if we don't pr don't press tackle here, just keep running. He's obviously going to take that touch, you know, in towards the box here. Keep running with the centre back. Predict where the ball's going to go and walk into the ball holding jockey. And I promise you, we will not give away a penalty there. As soon as you start pressing the tackle button in these areas, this is going to happen. Your player lunges in, you give away a pen, and it's just unfortunate. Um... Because you've actually read the situation right. Like you've predicted the way that the opponent's going to go. It's just a simple change of input. Instead of pressing tackle, we hold jockey and we will deal with it. But the penalty is saved. So on this occasion, uh, we do get away with it. Surely not another one, guys. Surely not another one. What I've just seen is about to happen. So another attack here. Um, great through ball, by the way. And it is that same issue, man. I mean, this is this shows you. This is why when you watch me play in my foot champs, barely ever touching the tackle button, especially not in the box. But for uh, for Alan here, who we are watching play, this is an easy fix for you, brother. Um, just less use of the tackle button in the box. And, oh my God, he saved it again. Wow, back-to-back -back penalty saves. Could never be me, by the way. I would have conceded both. But it's an easy fix defensively. You know, just replace it with holding jockey and predicting the path of the ball. And you're going to automatically be in a much better spot. Really nice offside trap there, which has helped him get the ball back. Uh, he's just tried to force the ball forward a bit too hastily there. Like, we win the ball great with the offside trap. We're trying to go too direct here. Like, run with Messi. You see how we've already beat the midfielder? We've got the room to run with Messi here. And then these options will open up. I can see what he's going for, for sure. But we just got to be a bit more patient here. Like, run up with Messi. And the options will become more clear. The worst thing you can do is win the ball back. And turn it into a game of ping pong. It's happened quite a lot here. One guy will win the ball. And then the other will instantly give it back. That guy will give it back again. You just need to take control of a game. And when you start doing that, that's when you're going to see your possession stat go up. Your pass accuracy goes up. And you take real control of a game of FIFA. When you're not playing ping pong and giving these turnovers, you will instantly see your results just go up tenfold. Okay, guys. So it looks like we are getting towards the end of the game here. And it has been an entertaining one. I'm sure you guys have learned something here. Uh, please let me know if you did it's been an enjoyable game to watch if you have any questions as always please do let me know uh, i really appreciate the two viewers here uh alan and arms for providing me with the footage being a part of the patreon what happened to scotty pollock by the way <laughs> uh, that is on my next to watch but guys thank you so much i'll catch you guys on the next one subscribe if you are new and peace i'll catch you next time